Hey guys, my name is Aaron and thank you again for joining me today at the French River Homestead. I'm glad you could be here today. Just wanted to give you guys a quick and final update on the dozer. You can see we've got it here on our land. Um, wasn't quite as easy as I thought it was going to be. This is going to be the last update for this year. I just want to let you guys know that we got it here. I've got a lot of work to do on it to get it running and functional. And I'm just, I don't have the resources or the time to do it this year. Um, so let me show you exactly what I got to do to it. I'm planning on doing it this, uh, this next upcoming year, 2019, I think I'll have a little bit more time. So um, let me just walk you through and show you what I got to do. So first and foremost, you can see that my oil pan is completely cracked and torn. Um, so I can't run the dozer with it like that. I need to fix that. Um, I'm going to take the oil pan off and have that re-welded. Um, I don't want to seize the engine, so if I do any more catastrophic damage, but also you know, the steering controls, both the steering lever, levers turn, but I had, I had this thing fired up as we tried to get it on a trailer, um, and that's when I noticed the oil leak. It was kind of covered up and hidden in the snow, so it wasn't very obvious at first, um, but I had it fired up and the transmission works all the gears work but i didn't have any steering so what i suspect is the <laughs> excuse me i'm fighting a little cold here what i suspect is that the uh, steering clutches are seized up in the, the clutch housing here um, so in order to get at those and either clean them or replace them I've got to drop the tracks and potentially I'm not sure I haven't looked in it, into it too much but I might even have to drop the loader and that's a big deal because you can see the loader arms go I mean, it's, it's the whole uh, size of the tractor here so it's a pretty big deal but both both clutch packs need to get replaced so that's a big project and then the other thing I noticed is that I didn't have any hydraulics to lift the bucket so we had to manually lift the bucket and then chain it into place just to get it moved over here um, so I've tried re-engaging and disengaging the Let's see if I can get in the uh, manual shutoff right here that disengages and engages the hydraulic pump. That is found right behind this plate. Goes off the flywheel pulley. Um, so I'm not sure if it's a hydraulic leak somewhere that's dropping the pressure or if I just got to get everything greased up or if the pump itself needs servicing but I think in that order that's kind of the route I'm gonna go um, I need to get the oil pan replaced first so that way I can safely operate it you can see again under here a couple of big cracks I'll show you on the other side I think what I'm just gonna do is drop the oil pan and um, have it re-welded and go that route first. It's really hard to find parts for this model tractor. I'm not sure on the year, but this is a John Deere 1010 crawler tractor. Based on my research, there's only about 15,000 of them made, and this was from the 60s. I'm not sure exactly what year, but I've been having a hard time finding parts. So I think I'm just gonna have that oil pan re-welded and hopefully that'll take care of the leak once that's done I know I can safely operate the tractor so then I'm going to go through and do routine maintenance do all the greasing change all the fluids lubricants um, replace all the oil hydraulic fluid transmission fluid I did have some uh, water in the transmission due to my shift my uh, what, do you, what do you call that the shift lever cap 
it kind of leaks in there so I've got water going into the transmission there so I need to change that and then once all the routine maintenance has been done then I can get and start taking apart the clutch packs for the steering once I have the steering issue solved then I'd like to take care of the hydraulics these are the hydraulic controls all the linkages are underneath in here and the actual hydraulic reservoir is on this side it's a seven gallon reservoir and I filled it up with fresh hydraulic fluid because it was low I'm suspecting there's a hydraulic leak uh, it seems like everything's kind of been leaking at this point but like I said I didn't have any hydraulics whatsoever so I don't know if the pump needs servicing but then after all that's complete and once I get it all functioning I'd like to go through and replace all of my fuel lines they're all kind of cracked and leaking I'd like to replace my hydraulic hoses and uh, you know just replace some basic basic parts just to clean up any leaks make sure I'm not making a mess anywhere and then just give this thing a nice once over to kind of get it back up and running and in a better shape than I found it so like I said before in the first video this was my dad's dozer he passed away a couple years ago so um, for practic practical use this is gonna be awesome on our homestead this is the only piece of equipment that we have right now with the loader I'm gonna be able to do a lot of work clearing trails um, moving dirt around establishing our gardens even just taking care of our driveway we've got a half a mile long driveway that needs grading and you know occasional um, repair so this will be awesome for that uh, for sentimental reasons I think it means even more to me just to have it here and uh, you know carry that piece of him with me so I'm really looking forward to rebuilding this tractor and getting it back and running I'm just not gonna have enough time this year but it's here and I've got time to do it uh, eventually so so like I said guys just short and sweet here I just wanted to give you a quick update like I said the last update on the dozer for now I'm gonna get it moved out of this spot it's kind of wet right now um, we didn't get this is the only place we could unload it so um, I'm gonna get uh, a friend with a skid steer to come over we're gonna move it out of the way where it's high and dry and I have room to work on it we're gonna place some railroad ties underneath the tracks just to get it a little bit off the ground and now we've got room to get underneath it um, and then after that it's probably just gonna sit for the for the rest of this year next year I'm gonna get started on all the maintenance stuff that we talked about and hopefully I'll have it up and running when I have a little bit more time so if you guys have any questions or comments on this dozer if you have any experience with restoring tractors please let me know in the comments below any tips or advice you've got I'd love to hear that um, if you have any other questions on our homestead in general go ahead and leave a comment as well um, if you guys haven't already subscribed I'd encourage you to do so I know it's been a while since I've routinely published any content but I'm just starting to get underway with some projects so if you'd like to be notified of that please go ahead and subscribe Otherwise, thanks for watching, guys.